Have you ended your Twitch stream but can't find it anywhere over on Twitch? I'll quickly show you exactly how to save your old Twitch stream so people can find it on Twitch, as well as being able to download them or export them directly to YouTube. If that sounds good, then drop a quick like on the video so other people can easily find this video. But let me show you how to do it. First thing we wanna do is head over to Twitch. If you don't have a computer, then go and grab your phone and then you're gonna download the Google Chrome app. Once you've opened the Google Chrome app, you can type in twitch.tv and search and go to the site. Then from there, you can click the three vertical dots in the top right corner, scroll down to where it says desktop site, and then you can enable the desktop site option, which will basically give you the same controls as you would if you're using a computer because you cannot do it from the Twitch app. Then we'll go to the top right corner and click your little icon and then go to your channel. Then we can go to the videos tab underneath our little picture and you'll be able to see that I have a featured clip section, a recent broadcast section, which has all my recent streams, as well as if we click on view all next to all videos, you can see all of my highlights and clips from literally five years ago, including the footage I caught when a mouse literally ran up my jeans while I was live streaming on Twitch. I don't care to relive that day. So if you want to be able to save your streams like this, then we're going to go to the top right corner, click your little icon, then we're going to go to the creator dashboard tab. From here, we'll go to the left side where we see the settings tab. Then we're going to click on the stream tab underneath it. Then we're going to scroll down to where it says VOD settings. And you're going to want to enable store pass broadcast because this is not enabled by default when you first create your account. So once you enable this setting, it will automatically save your streams for up to seven days, two weeks for affiliates or 60 days for partner turbo and prime users. But if you want to save your streams permanently, I'll show you that in just a second. So make sure to enable Enable store past broadcast as well as always publish VOD so that way your viewers can see your past broadcast as soon as you end your stream. Then you can scroll down and enable clips as well as other settings here if you want, including the feature this clip so you can shove your content down your viewers' throats. But just to be clear, when you enable this store past broadcast setting, it's not going to resurrect your old streams before you enabled it because Twitch wasn't recording. Also, if you happen to be streaming right now while watching this video hoping that it will save your stream, that will not be be the case. So end your stream and any stream that you do after enabling this setting will save your past broadcast. But if you want to save your streams permanently, let's head over to the content tab on the left hand side and go to video producer. You can also find that tab if you go to the Twitch homepage. So if you go back to twitch.tv, then you go back to your little icon in the top right. You can also find video producer there as well. So after you've done some streams, after enabling that past broadcast setting, then you'll see all of your past broadcasts here. But if you don't want them to expire in 7, 14, or 60 days, depending on your status, then we have a bunch of different options. So let's take this stream, for example, right here. I played a scary game called The Exit 6, but I also did a bunch of just chatting at the beginning. So if we click the three dots to the right of this video, we have a bunch of different options. The first button is the edit button, which if we click it, we can simply go and edit the title, the description, the language, category tags, all that good stuff. But if we go back, I'm going to hit cancel, we can actually go straight to the highlight tab. So I'm going to press the highlight button and then it'll bring up this scary little video editor, but I promise it's not that scary or tough to use. So if you look at the bottom, you can see this highlighted bar and you can click around in here and you'll see your past broadcast, aka your old stream. So let's say that I wanted to just highlight my little gameplay and I wanted to skip my just chatting. So what I'll do is I'll grab the right side of this. I'll drag it to the end and I'm going to drag the left side all the way over to when I start the game. So if you really want to get specific about it, you can go and fine tune it exactly where it is. But this is a little rough cut for the video. So this is my gameplay right here. And let's say you went up to go to use the bathroom or something. Then you can go to where you got up to use the bathroom and go there. Let's pause it. Then you can click these little scissors here so it'll split it so we can split that. And then we have two different gold bars. One's purple because we're not selecting it. And then we have the gold one. So whatever one selected, we can go and drag the side of it. And you can see that it will just clip out that segment. So you can clip out what part you got up and use the bathroom to make it more of an enjoyable viewing experience for your viewers so they don't have to skip around. And when you do this, it's not going to split it into two separate videos. It's all going to be in the same highlighted video, which is really nice. So let's say that this is the highlight that we wanted to do so we can change our title. I'm just going to call it scary game and then I'm going to make it the game category that we played, which I believe is the exit eight. So then from here, we're going to hit publish highlights. Now it's going to process the highlight, which can take up to a few minutes or even longer, depending 
depending on how long your stream was. And by the way, if you wanted to highlight your entire stream, you can just drag the gold bar to all the way to the left and all the way to the right, and it will capture the entire stream, and you can save that permanently. So once you've filled out all the info here, you can also choose a thumbnail when it's done processing. You can hit Save Changes, and then you'll be able to see your past broadcast here, including all of your viewers who want to see it on your channel as well. So after a while, you can refresh the page, and it will show up here, but that's a pretty large highlight, so it might take a little while. So if we go back to the original past broadcast, we can go and see the other options with the three dots, including the download button. But when I click on download, it's going to say preparing because it has to prepare the video for downloading, if that makes sense. Then after a while, you'll be able to download it and you'll be able to get that file so you can upload it to YouTube or edit it down in your video editing software or whatever your little heart desires. But if you're lazy and you don't want to download it, you can actually export it directly to YouTube. So if you click the export button, you'll be greeted to this export to YouTube tab. But in order to do this, you have to connect your YouTube account to your Twitch account. In order to do that, we'll go to the top right corner, click your little picture, then we'll go to account settings. Then we're gonna go to the connections tab at the top, and then you'll be able to connect your YouTube account to Twitch so you can directly send and export your Twitch VOD to your YouTube account. A few things to keep in mind though for this is that you can change your title, description, tags, and change your visibility from public to private, so that way you can go and make further changes on YouTube when it's done exporting. And also make sure that your YouTube account is verified, otherwise you might run into issues like having to split the videos into 15 minute segments. So go and verify your YouTube channel. And if you don't know how to verify your YouTube channel, I'll leave a link in the description down below to help you. And another tip is that when you export to YouTube through this method, you might see a lower quality than what you streamed at. And that's totally normal because it takes YouTube a while to actually process the video to do the original settings that you had on Twitch. So for example, you might see it at 360p, but if you wait a couple hours, depending on how long your video is, it will go to the original quality that you streamed at Twitch. You just got to give it time to process. But real quick, before I cover the next step, if you want to take your stream to the next level, then check out my brand new website, cpausemusic.com, which I'll leave linked down below. But I got a bunch of resources to help you improve your streams, like my free streamers cheat sheet, which will help you grow and improve your channel by telling you what to do before your stream, during your stream, and even after your stream. And it's all laid out in this handy dandy little cheat sheet. So check out my website to help level up your stream. So now if we look at the top, you can see that our highlight has finally processed our scary game. So if we click on it, you'll be able to see all of the info. You can change the thumbnail by uploading a new thumbnail. And then you have your video URL here. So if you want to send it to specific people, you can copy that. Or if you just want to go back to your Twitch page to make sure that it works, you can go to the top right corner, then go back to channel. And then we can go to the videos tab and then we can scroll down to where it says recent highlights and uploads and you'll be able to see your new highlighted video right here so you can click on it and all your viewers can see it too and you'll be able to watch this highlight and since this is highlighted this will permanently be saved on twitch for years to come like that clip of when a mouse ran up my jeans when i was streaming so continue watching this twitch playlist to the side of me it has everything you need to know about twitch streaming my name's cody and i'll see you in the next one